Hey y'all, it's Kristen. Before we get into the haul video, I have an announcement. Laura over at Laughing Dogs Book Nook here on YouTube and on Etsy, she has released some more Chanel. And y'all, this is some gorgeous stuff. I'm not kidding. Hi, Laura. She worked hard to get this out. This this is really, really nice. Um, the Chanel that she has is not your everyday Chanel. Look at that. That's some rosebud Chanel right there. It is rare. It's hard to find, believe me. I've looked around. She has some really, really good pieces. And also, this stuff, when you go to buy it on eBay or whatever, it's a little bit expensive. I'm not going to lie. But Laura's prices are fabulous. She has really good prices. Anyway, I think she has a 20-piece set over there. And I will leave a link down in the description box so you can go and check it out. But these are really, really nice. Like I said, these are special chenilles. Can't just go find these anywhere. Look at that rosebud. Love them. Oh, and this one. We put some of these in my baby books. I love that one too. Okay, so you guys go over and check it out because last time she had Chanel, she sold out really quickly. Anyway, on to the video. Okay, next thing is some stuff from uh, some things that are going to be in my shop. Hang on just a second. Okay, I had to put it in here because, well, they were all over the place. You guys wiped me out on the uh, seed packets. I had to order a whole bunch more because... I ran out, which is a good thing. So, I'm going to move this over. All right, I also have a few new ones, too, that were not in the last. So, I have Sweet Pea. Let me make sure that y'all can see these. California Poppy. That one. Portulaca. Poppy. Here's one of the new ones. Actually, here's two of the new ones. So, this is a new one. These are all from the 50s. That's a new one. I, yeah. They're all from the 50s. I was going to say, ooh, some of them may be from the 60s, but I'm almost positive all of them are from the 50s. That one. Oh, this is a new one. The Nasturtium. Um... Sweet Pea. Zinnia, I want to thank everyone who ordered. I really appreciate it and shared my shop. And these. This is another Sweet Pea. Some more Petunia. I'm almost done. And that one. And there's some more that's a little bit left over of Moonflower. Some more Poppy. There's more Petunia. Is that it? Yeah, that's all. So, I have restocked up, uh, up the listing amount and everything over there. So, tell your friends, people. Thank you very much for the share, like I said before. Now, we are going to move on to... Oh, let me show you one more thing that... I'm going to have in the shop. These. Um, I've decided that I'm going to offer some of these in the shop. These are another thing that you can find them over on eBay, but the prices are kind of ridiculous. Um, I scoured <laughs> eBay front back and sideways trying to find these i found a couple of listings that were halfway reasonable um by the time you see this video they it will be up in the shop the price will re it's going to reflect what i had to pay for them and plus the stupid etsy fees i mean etsy fees are ridiculous nowadays so yeah 
just letting you know. But I think these are really cool, and I use them in my books all the time. I, I don't know. I really like them. Hopefully, you guys will, too. If you don't, I'm really not going to be real butthurt about it because I love these things so much, and I'll just have a lot of them. <laughs> okay. So, the next thing I'm going to show is um, scrapbook.com. Okay. First things first, I got this Gingham Farm by My Mind's Eye. I, I don't normally like black and white but these for some reason I really like them and I'm hoping you can see the papers right there without me taking it out oops okay there we go I mean they're really really pretty I also got the ephemera maybe you can see that and the washi. So, I will be making something with this. I don't know what. But something will be made. Also, and I'm really excited about this stuff. Oh, my box is falling. Come on. Okay. I had to say a few cuss words. Now, this Bow Bunny uh, Be Beautiful. Let me hold it up so you can see the name. It's Be Beautiful. I really like this. Um, I really like how the scrapbook companies or whatever are putting purple in there. You used to could never find purple in scrapbook paper. Now, you can. And I forgot to cut the things off. Just a second. All right. We'll do a quick flip. Let me make sure that you're seeing this. So pretty. I love the blues. And the purples. There's another one. I think I skipped one. Oh, yeah, that one. Look at that honeycomb. Okay, is this starting over? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so there's that. There are 48 sheets in there. I also got the chipboard uh, pieces. And the ephemera. Okay. So I got that one. And then... I got this one. This one is called Sweet Clementine. And I know, I think this is like maybe Valentine's or maybe not. I don't know. Let's look at the paper. I just like the colors in it. All right, let's see. Oops. This is very awkward. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Very, very nice. I am not doing a good job here. Is this starting over? 
I think so. Yeah. Okay. So there's that one. Again, there's 48 sheets in there. I got the chipboard pieces, which are these. I'm going to hold this down see if you can see. Yep. I think you can. So there you go. And then these are the stickers on a 12 by 12 sheet. So I think you can see those too. Let me hold these up. These are kind of smaller. Okay. And then I, of course, got the... You can't see part of it because the words are there, but maybe you can get an idea. Okay. All right. So, I also got some stuff from Amazon. Whatever I show will be linked down in the description box. I was doing those... You remember when I was doing the baby cards? Let me show you. These. And I uh, needed small... For summer, I mean, I've got a gazillion buttons, but I didn't have very many small buttons. So, I went over to Amazon and got these in this little container. So, there you go. I don't know how many are in here. Fifteen colors is all it says, but, I mean, there's a lot of colors in there. Okay, so then, I kind of went crazy with the... Um, coin envelopes. My plan for this is to make, um, I've got some seed packets that are coming in the mail from the 1910s and they are absolutely gorgeous and there's only five of them. So I thought I would scan them and then put them on one of these. Like these are small. They're, this is not going to work unless of course I go in and fix the size of those. So these are tiny white ones. You see that? I thought they'd be good in books. These are two and a quarter by three and a half. And then I got these. And these are what? I don't know. Let me get a ruler. Hang on. It does not say. Three and a half by closed to six and a I don't know six and three eighths almost six and a half let's just say six and a half okay can't believe it doesn't say on there and then I got these and these are a little um I was gonna say they're a little bit. I don't know, the paper, of course it's different, it's craft. This feels a little bit thinner, just a tad. So these are the same size as the first one, two and a quarter by three and a half or whatever I said. And then these are, are these the same size as those other ones? No, these are flower, uh, flower seed packet size, these right here. So, and I think, let me make sure. Yeah, about a little bit less. I don't know. I may have to go find some more that are exact, exactly those size. But what I plan on doing is making these into seed packets from those really old ones. I think that it'll be really cute. Okay. The next thing that I got is something from... I've got a lot of stuff coming from eBay. But this right here, I got two of these. I thought it was really, really pretty. It's a pillowcase. With that on there. Isn't it pretty? So this one is a little bit darker than this one. Anyway, I thought they were really pretty. Cut those up, make something. I don't know. Okay, one more thing. Just a moment. Okay. I got um, a daily deal from Selena again. This is her, whenever she was selling these uh, books. So I got two of them. This one is an index 
type thing. It's the uh, the Book of Knowledge. And I don't know. Let me see what the date is. First, let me make sure that I'm in frame. That would be nice. 1937. So, great pages to do collaging with and whatever else. And then, this one is 18... Oh, what is that? Somebody making some notes, I guess. Hopefully you can see that from here. It has some cool pictures and stuff in it. Effect on... Business and trade. Okay, there you go. Somebody's little note in there. I always don't like finding stuff like that. I love old books, period, as you very well know. Look at that. Little Red Riding Hood. There's another piece of paper. What is this? Nothing, but it's old. Ooh, and another one it says page numbers. Is there anything over there? What does it say? Map of Europe, effect on. I'll show that. Okay. Somebody really studied this one. Look at the guys with the big mustaches. I bet they needed a comb to brush those things out. Okay. Yeah, these are cool. Nobody looks very happy. What is this? It's talking about shoes. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I could be... Hey, look at that. Paper lanterns. paper is like glossy. It's not as cottony as some of them, but it's not too glossy. I know some people are like, why do you always say that? Why do you always say it's glossy and you don't like it? I like the cottony paper. But these are, look at those bugs. These are good. This is good paper. Ooh, look at those. There's a wasp. I don't like those. I will run away. I will knock my kids down and run away to get, I mean, to get away from those bugs. I'm not kidding. One time I accidentally sprayed my uh, golden retriever on the butt with some wasp spray. It was terrible. He was all right, though. These are really cool. I'm really hoping y'all can see from up there. <clears throat> All right. Also, now that we spent 45 minutes on that book, let me move that over. I got um, this book cover and these book pages from her. I think this will make a good... Can you see the embossing on it? Or whatever you call it. Is it debossing? I'm not sure, but it's got little books right there and... I don't know. It's very nice. I don't know what size that is, but it looks like a really good size. Then I got some of her dictionary pages, which honestly, did I need these? No. No, I did not. But anytime that I can get some book pages that I don't have to tear up books or whatever, even though I am, I mean, I've got two dictionaries over there, the big ones that are from the 40s, I think. And then I've got another one on the way <clears throat> that's exactly like that. It's the picture dictionaries that have the really cool images like that right there. I mean, did I need these? Not really, but 
I went ahead and bought them anyway because that's just what I do. And plus, these are different sizes, and I don't really have different sizes. I just have one big size. Ooh, look at that. And then these are nice. Orchids and it just says flower. Oh, I think these came with that book over there. Okay. So, the next video... Oh, wait, no. I have one more thing. Those of you who have lasted to the end of this video, y'all, you guys are my diehard, my diehard people. Because I know that most people only watch like five or so minutes of videos. This is from Peachy Cheap. This is all Candy's fault. Hi, Candy. Every time, I mean, I used to buy from Peachy Cheap all the time. And then I was like, I've got to stop because they have deals every day. And you could really you know get in trouble going over there every day and being like oh my gosh i need that this maggie holmes you guys know i love maggie holmes and i buy just about every uh collection that she does this one i was kind of up in the air about i wasn't sure it's sunny days it's a summertime which usually the summertime collections i'm kind of like eh you know because it's a lot of pineapples and flamingos but this one i thought i would go ahead and get it for peachy cheap because one it's cheap or cheaper instead of buying the whole collection. Oh, I broke it. Just a second. But anyway, I thought I would give it a try. Get, you know, bring it home and see what it looks like. And then if I want some more, then I'll go to scrapbook.com or wherever and get it. But some of these uh, papers in here are so pretty. Like that one, I don't care for. But look at that. Some cameras. Look at those butterflies. Flowers. That one's all right. It's not a big deal. That one's got some foil on it. That one's very strange looking. That one's pretty. So is that. Another fold one. I thought that this one, <clears throat> hang on, let me look on the back, uh, did I go through the whole thing, yeah, there is, let me show you, yeah, it must be in the big, look at that, can you see that right there, there's a, I think a paper in the collection that's like that, it's like a, I don't know, you can see it hopefully, that's what's all in this. These are stickers. There's a 202 of them on, in there. So I'm going to hold her up as close as I can. So you can see. And then these are vellum. Wait, no. Acetate. And then regular ephemera. That's not everything that's in there. That must be just like a... Or maybe... Who knows? Here, I'm going to hold it up. And you see that one right there? There's a paper that looks like... That might be the exact same thing I just showed you. I'm not sure. And then we have this uh, 6 by 12 87 stickers. So I think I'm going to have to go back and get the... Uh, 12 by 12? I knew this was going to happen. Candy, this is all your fault. I said no to it. And then you made me do it. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go back and get the 12 by 12 because this one does not have a couple of the pages that I wanted. Or I may go just get the pages from scrapbook.com. I'm not sure. Okay, so now I think I really am done. Um, the next video you see will probably be me doing a craft with me to finish up. Um this journal that we've been working on I've got to do some tags well this one look at this one isn't this adorable Isn't that cute I heat embossed this is a stamp that Laura gave me it says boy it's a definition stamp 
and then I put these stickers on there. This has actual, um, it's like cloth. It's so cute. It's just a tag. I'm going to put this in as a pocket, like long ways, and then punch a hole in the end. So I'm going to make some of these and also go ahead and finish this book, like put book corners on, maybe a pocket on the inside, um, like on the inside cover, I'm not sure. We're just going to finish this book up. So that will be the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching.